Hello friends, today we are going to present a case of a ETEP bilateral large direct inguinal hernia repair with minimum instrumentation with only spatula. This is 61 year old male patient presented with bilateral inguinal swelling, pain during movements and it was irreducible. He is a known diabetic patient since last 10 years and which is well controlled. HbA1c at the time of admission was 5.9 and his BMI was 30. So we decided to go ahead for the ETEP bilateral inguinal hernia repair for this patient. Now here comes the video. Here we are doing optical entry first and we are entering into a retrorectus plane and then after putting a lateral trocar we are doing the division of the posterior rectus sheath on the left side 5 millimeter below the linea and we are enhancing the extra peritoneal space with this dissection and then we are going to put a trocar through the umbilicus and now henceforth we are using only two instruments for the entire operation one is a spatula on the right hand instrument and on the left hand there is a bipolar uh, grasper is there. So with these two instruments we are carrying out the entire operation for this patient. This patient had a left side large direct hernia which was irreducible and on the right side as compared to left it was small hernia but it is quite large as well. So and there was a lipoma of the cord on the left side mainly so that is also been removed while doing the dissection so this is the entire video you can watch so we are doing now space of radius dissection and here i am using this uh, special instrument spatula and this instrument is having a handheld cautery tip so it becomes quite easy to handle like open surgery we can do the uh, dissection quite easily it uh, improves the ergonomics as well as it improves the precision of the surgery and the only on the fingertips you are having the cautery so it becomes quite easy to keep your operative field very clean so now we are approaching towards the right side direct hernia the contents are reduced reduced After reducing the direct contents, we are now doing the parietalization of the cord structures. You can very well appreciate the uh, peritoneal reflection. And slowly and steadily we are doing the dissection here. Now the arcuate line which is approaching, approaching towards the lat lateral to the inferior epigastrics and that is need to be cut. And then 
the peritoneum and the lateral wall and a space of Bogros dissection is started. So we are doing the lateral dissection. So here spatula becomes quite handy. One can use hook also and one can use scissor also. I usually my preference is for the scissor but uh, as this is a handheld quarter tip pencil like this spatula is there so I am using spatula for the first time here in this surgery. So here now you can see the peritoneal reflection and the parietalization of the core structure is carried out. One can appreciate the vas deferens. So almost the prioritization of the core structure is completed. Here there are few attachments which we are taking down. So this is now the hernia defect on the right side, quite large. Now we put a lateral trocar and started doing the left side dissection. So here is a large direct irreducible hernia. So we try to do a adhesiolysis around the hernia sac. It is freed from all the sides and after freeing from all the sides, the assistant is asked to give a pressure from outside and then the contents are reduced and then it becomes quite easy for further dissection and for reduction of the hernia sac. So it is still uh, the contents are there, irreducible contents are there. We try to do dissection. Now the assistant is asked to give a pressure from outside and the contents are reduced. One can appreciate the contents getting reduced. And then dissection becomes quite easy now henceforth. It was a very large hernia. The pseudo sac has been dissected. And here, spatula becomes quite handy to reduce the contents properly. So, 
so the contents are reduced traction and counter traction is the key for doing a, a dissection or getting into the plane while doing dissection and then the instrumentation like instrument like spatula becomes quite handy for further dissection with bloodless dissection so now here we are doing now parietalization of the cord structures you can see the peritoneal reflection and the dissection further carried out So now the uh, dissection is done laterally. Space of Bogorov dissection on the left side. After doing the parietalization of the cord structures, we uh, found that there is a quite big lipoma of the cord on the left side. So after completion of the parietalization of the cord structures, we approach the lipoma on the left side. So now one can see from inside the large hernia sac. This need to be fixed to avoid seroma in the post-operative period. And here is a lipoma of the cord on the left side and that is been uh, excised with the help of here spatula. Slowly and steadily we are getting into the plane to remove this lipoma. lipoma we are getting reduced and completely excised and disconnected from the its attachments
so after the entire completion of the dissection on both the sides we are now going to fix the pseudo sac to the anterior abdominal wall on the left side you can see here the very large pseudo sac is was there and that is been fixed to the anterior abdominal wall with the help of a maxon pds sutures this automatically because of the reduction of the sac the entire defect become flat and there is no opening on the left side because of this and it gives a good effect in the post operative period to reduce the seroma you can very well see the flat surface now and then we are using here the 3d mesh 3d regular extra large mesh on both the sides and this mesh is been fixed with the help of a uh, endocrine glue with the help of a spinal needle we are installing this glue inside and the mesh is fixed at three points and then deflation and reinsufflation test is done you can very well see the mesh is quite well placed 